ladies and gentlemen, listeners from all around the world, we yeah, are yeah, 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 yeah. the Uncelebs. The Uncelebs. What? What up? What up? What up? Once again, thank you for joining us. What's up, guys? It's your boy Shaw Solo, one fifth of the Uncelebs. Uncelebs podcast. You know what I'm saying? SoundCloud. Link is in the bio. Make sure you go check us out, man. And uh, you know, if you want to laugh. Hit the links in the bio, in the bio, man. As you know, Valentine's Day is 13 days away. Gonna be a lot of broke people on Valentine's Day, let me tell you, man. I, for one, will not be celebrating Valentine's Day this year because, well, you know, I ain't got nobody. But no, Valentine's Day is coming around the corner and um, notice, uh, a lot of people wondering what's a good day, what's what's a good date to take a to take your lady or to take your your man. And um, what I do suggest, um, let's say, is if this is the first time you guys are planning Valentine's Day, like you guys are celebrating Valentine's Day for the first time, uh, I definitely suggest you know going out somewhere where it's fun. You know, something that has something to do with leisure, hands-on things like, I would say bowling. Bowling is always fun. Bowling is like an all-around uh, kind of date. You know, if it's somebody's birthday, or, you know, first date, second date. Valentine's Day, you know, pretty dope. Uh, let's see. Now, if you want to go on a romantic tip, you know, you want to wine and dine. You know, you want to do all that good stuff. Then, um... I definitely suggest uh, taking your spouse to a, a nice restaurant. You know, a nice restaurant that's kind of exquisite and, you know, let me think of a big word. Um, exclusive. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Yeah, something exclusive, man. So, fellas, you know, you want to impress your lady, you know, just just, just be innovative, man. Just to, to go on Yelp and um, look up some, some dope uh, restaurants like... Definitely something with seafood. You know, if she's if she's not allergic to seafood, you know, take her take her somewhere to you know get some nice seafood, some nice little jazz music and shit like that. Um, one place I do suggest um, it was on uh, I think it's called Blue Blue Sea Grill on, on 14th Street in uh, Union Square in New York. Anybody in New York, you know, definitely check that place out, man. I listen. You take your spouse to that place, and they they dig seafood. I'm telling you, man, it's 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 amazing. You know, uh, I went there one time, and uh, it was definitely great. Like it was definitely a different experience. You know, they they have good good service. You know, good food. Um, you don't even gotta you don't even gotta pour your own drinks. Yeah, like they pour the drinks for you. You know what I'm saying? Like they they pour your own water. I was like drink my water up, and then next thing you know, somebody else came with a bottle. I'm like, oh, 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 okay, I was gonna pour it myself, but you know. But stuff like that, you know, and um, definitely good live music. You want to take somebody somewhere where there's a lot of nice live music. You know what I'm saying? Not too crazy, but something to set the mood, you know what I'm saying? So, um, what else? So, we got bowling, you got a fancy restaurant. Um, ice skating, you know, uh, season is should be almost up, but I think ice skating is a good idea for a Valentine's Day date, in my opinion. You know, um, this is fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's you, you take somebody on a date uh, for Valentine's Day, you take them ice skating, they're never gonna forget that shit. Trust me, man. So, definitely, ice skating is a good look. Um, you know, you get to interact and you know, it kind of builds that chemistry when you're you're um, taking them out, you ice skating. Let's say if they don't know how to ice skate, you know, you teach them, you know, teach them a couple of moves. You know what I'm saying? Show them how to skate backwards and stuff like that. That'd be fun. I guarantee it, man. So, that's it, man. February 14th is around the corner, and uh, yeah, just just some tips, just some tips to uh, think about when you're trying to take you know take your spouse on a date, man. It's your boy Sean Solo. One fifth of the Uncelebs, Uncelebs podcast. We here, man. Later. Peace.